free fish probs. Enjoy the show. What's going on YouTube family? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with another video and this is over the recap from Lake Ufala. That is some sharp hooks. I just poked the crap out of my leg. Um, and poked the cameraman, lady, <laughs> camerawoman. Well, um, from Lake Ufala, we were there this past weekend. Um, today's Friday, you guys are going to be seeing this video. I posted the vlogs from, um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I posted that on Sunday. There are two parts. If you haven't seen that yet, definitely check them out. I'll leave the links at the end of this video. So, um, I'm pretty much going to talk what we did. Um, Thursday, um, we left after school, got down to Ufala. We went out on the lake for just like an hour, I guess you could say. I'm um, just kind of messed around, looked for some spots. Um, and then Friday was our official pre-fish day. So we went out there, and I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, we really didn't catch a fish. And I'm being straightforward with you. We did not catch a fish. <laughs> um, so we were worried. We were, we were going crazy. We are like, geez, we didn't even catch a fish. What's going on? Um, we tried all of our spots. We, we tried shallow, deep, docks, grass, lily pad. It was ridiculous. We tried everything. We covered probably 90% of the lake. Um, we went all the way down to the dam. Put it that way. If you guys have been there, you follow. We went all the way to the dam and back. It was just ridiculous. We covered like literally the whole lake. Couldn't even get a bite. So tournament morning, um, Saturday, I just tried to see confident. And we went out there, it just wasn't going well. Um, well, the first part, they, they launched us at 7, so they're already launching us a little bit late, which was kind of ridiculous. Um, so, because you have that time for the morning bite, and we got outside about at 5.40 um, to put the boat in and everything. It was already light outside, and they didn't launch us till 7, which was ridiculous. So the morning bite was pretty much gone. What our plan was is we were going to fish up shallow for like two hours. Um, but if we're putting it at seven, there's no point in that anymore. Maybe 30 minutes. So we tried to fish in shallow for 30 minutes to an hour. That didn't work out. And we went out deep because that's what our plan was after we tried to hit the morning bite. We still didn't have a fish. Um, we were fishing some humps and ledges and stuff like that with some brush piles. Just couldn't get those bites. We we're in a lot of rock and stuff and, um, we we're in brush. Just couldn't get those bites. I was throwing like a shaky head. Um, my partner's throwing a Carolina rig, some on the bottom, just try to get those fish. We didn't have any crankbaits with us, and we were wanting to throw some crankbaits and stuff, just couldn't. Um, and I, I would say about midday, I want to say like 11 o'clock, I caught the first fish on a shaky head. Um, it was just a really small one, it barely kept, it was just a little spot, probably a pound, pound and a half. Um, but that was a start, got our confidence level up. Um, we went back out deep, tried to go for a big bite. Um, trying to think was in a lot of rock and started to reel my bait up one time and big one hit me at the boat and that that just brought my confidence level back down and on top of all this the freaking heat it was like 95 degrees out there and we're just exhausted honestly I've, I've never been that tired during a tournament and we're just exhausted I was just thinking to myself what is going on I was just I was quiet because I, I just I was trying to process this through my head I was just freaking out. I, mean, I wasn't freaking out, but I was just trying to process what's going on. What do we need to do? We need to put fish in the boat. What do we have to do to, to do this? Um, and we're just sitting there steaming up bacon. And we finally, um, my dad's already sitting down, but me and Chris just sat down. We ate lunch. <laughs> we're just sitting here talking. Uh, what, come on, guys. What are we doing? We're trying to make a game plan. Um, went back to where I caught the first fish. And I threw... Another, I was still throwing the shaky head at that point because, I mean, that's just old reliable. You can always catch a fish on a shaky head, and I saw some fish on the bottom, so why not? Threw a shaky head in, caught another one. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the first one, so that's fish number two. Um, and uh, I started to notice some fish kind of at the top of the water column, mid-level. There was a little bit of bait, and I was just thinking of what, what could we throw? What could we throw? Um, I was really wanting to throw like a 6XD, like a crankbait, but that was just, we didn't have any with us and didn't have the rods, it just didn't plan out. Um, saw a jerkbait down in the corner from us pre-fishing, I was like, Chris, how about you try that? 
Um, and he thought about it too once he saw those fish in the water column. So we were just thinking jerk bait. I mean, why not try it? And um, I mean, it's worth a shot from this point. We didn't really have much fish. So we threw it in there. Um, he caught a fish on it. Um, we boated that fish, so that's fish number three. He threw in again, caught another one. And at that point, I was like, man, and that was our only jerk bait. We only have one jerk bait. Um, so I was just thinking to myself, what can I throw? What can I throw? We happen to have a couple rattle traps. So I got a rattle trap. I um, threw that in. I caught a good one, caught the biggest one. Um, and then he caught a few more on a jerk bait. I caught a few more on the rattle trap. They're just eating the, the shad baits um, that were in white. And so we just boated five fish. They weren't the biggest. We ended up weighing in seven pounds and four ounces. Um, 11, 11 three won the tournament. So, I mean, that's not too far. We ended up placing 10th. Um, I believe ninth and eighth were just a couple ounces ahead of us. Um, ninth place is like one ounce ahead of us, and eighth was just a couple more. Um, so we were pretty much up there for the most part. A lot of people, I believe, like twenty boats zeroed out. There's like sixty, sixty, um, sixty boats in the tournament. Like twenty zeroed out, and there was only like eight limits. So I mean, we didn't do too bad if you think about it. We ended up finding something that was working. We acknowledged it and um just put our minds together and got some fish in the boat and that's all that mattered from that point i was just really wanting to get a limit um and if you guys don't know that's my weakest lake to be honest you follow this weakest lake i hate the lake um I, I just don't i don't enjoy fishing it i've never caught a limit on that lake so let's go let's go ahead and jump into the baits um this is the rattle trap i was throwing it's just a little strike king it's just a regular shad color rattle trap um red eye shad um just a standard old rattle trap bunch of rattles um the reel is a revo mg extreme by abu garcia i love that reel it's phenomenal casting um for price i would go with the revo mgx for the most part um and this is a legend tournament st croix rod and this is just on a medium heavy um fast action rod and you guys are mostly seeing me with the legend extremes but legend tournaments on both of these rods today um and the pound line on that's 12 pound um berkeley gold, gold label here's the jerk bait um, it's just a mega bass, white mega bass, Vision 110 plus one. Um, great little bait right there. They're just eating that that whitish color, that shag color. On um, this is on a Revo MGX, and it's also on the same medium heavy power rod um, with fast action tip as the rattle trap was on, and this is on 12 pound as well, Berkeley Gold label. So those are the two baits. Um, we just found those fish. We found them schooling. Or not, I, I guess I guess you could say school, and every once in a while they would come up to the top of the surface. But we just found this fishing bait fish. Um, we thought in our head, he threw in the jerk bait, caught a fish. From there on, we were like, man, we need a moving bait. And we didn't have too much longer to catch some fish. So, I mean, if you could have gave us another hour, I bet we could have culled out some more fish. We culled like four times from that one spot, um, which is pretty good. We're just going about ounces from there. But I believe we could have caught a couple bigger fish. We just needed one kicker for the most part. If we had one kicker, we would have won. Um, we just needed that one good five-pounder, but it just never happened. Um, if we pro probably could add another hour, we probably could have got a couple more good fish in the boat. But um, it's, it, everything happens for a reason, guys, and we were blessed to catch those fish that day. And my horse group said, what, what, am I, what did it say? <laughs> you read it out. Cause it's, she texted it to my dad. What did it say? Mm, something about... It said, I'm going to... It says you're gonna be in water today. Something about boats and water, and that you are going to realize what to do late in the afternoon. Late in the day, that was. Late it. in the day, and that you're gonna capitalize and you're gonna blow some people away. That, that's crazy, right there, and I believe in that stuff 100% now. Also, if you guys are following my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everything, I got I opened up Fortune Cookie the other day. I don't know where my phone's at, but I opened the fortune cookie the other day, and it said, boats and water is in your future. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> I know you guys saw that. Yeah, that was mine. I actually opened it, and that, that's insane. I'm believing in that 100%. Boats and water is in my future. I mean, I put it in the back of my phone case. That's staying in there for a while. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Um, that's what we did on Lake Eufaula. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys enjoyed the vlogs, let me know. Comment below. Um, I'll leave the links to the vlogs if you haven't seen them already at the end of this video. Also, we're going down to Ufala. Um, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Our tournament is on the 24th. 
Um, we're going to be pre-fishing 22nd and 23rd. So um, I'll be vlogging the whole thing, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy that. And you guys will get a good kick out of the last vlog, so make sure you go watch it. I'll leave the links at the end of this video. See you guys next time.